I'm Az. And I'm Jamie. And this is Little Bella. And we're from the House of Cruise. We're interior designers and stylists. And digital content creators. And we're so excited to get in there. And do this kitchen and dining makeover. Bring it on. We have arrived. Knock, knock, knock. Whoa. Look at this. I yeah. think this bench is actually a good size. We could probably resurface this with some it. paint. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the timber arcs or the skirts. I think we can go bold in here with some colour. We could have like a runway show on here. Yeah. Like. New floors. New floors. New paintwork. New paintwork. Paint the window frames as well. New handles. Resurface these cupboards. All right, let's do this. Love it. Ow! I've just been on Pinterest and just looking at some joinery. We could run Maybe some dowel or something on the front of the bench top here. Yeah. Love it. How exciting. So what colours are we thinking we should do for the bench and tiles? Really dramatic. Is this warm. bench top not dramatic enough? Yeah, that's why we're getting rid of it. So what are we going to do about window furnishings? So Bunnings will do a made to order lines for us as well. Oh, so. that's perfect. Okay, first things first, doweling across the front of the bench. That's yep. gonna look amazing. We'll repaint the cabinets and put new handles on it. Sheer curtains on the windows. Redo the flooring. Resurface the bench tops and the tiles. Repaint it. And finally, new upcycled furniture. In the dining room, it's gonna look sick. Hey guys. Hey. Yeah. Oh, thanks for bringing oh. some help, guys. That's right. Get your mates over for a weekend and get it done. It's super easy to do. You've just got to break it down to small little projects. It's going to be a really big job, so we need all hands on deck. So if you guys could start by just taping everything up so we can start painting and maybe sugar soap the walls. We ready to go, Bella? Yep. Oh, look, super cute for our little drive to Bannings. There's a lot of range at Bunnings, but what we try and do is a bit of research beforehand with a bit of purpose. Not being afraid to look at all the options. Mm. And if you do get stuck, just speak to one of the team members. Yeah, super helpful. Hey, Taylor. Hey, how are you going? We're just here to pick up that blind, the custom one we ordered a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I have a feeling this one's going to look awesome. Thank you so much Thank for your Taylor. Taylor. Bye. Say bye. Bye-bye. Tapping my way to tap town, cause we need a tap. Eye on the prize. No, okay, cool. I think that one, matte black. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's go to the counter and get it all cool. Cool. All right. The transformation begins. After we've primed the bench tops, we need to let it sort of set for about four hours. Oh, that's the curing it. stage, isn't it? Yeah, and then we'll do the top coat. That colour looks amazing. Yes. As I reckon I'm going to keep these for our house. What do you reckon? Uh, they're not coming out to ours. So sexy. Feature wall is almost done. Bench top is ready to go for paint and we're just about to do the window frames now. Window, window. So new windows are really expensive and new framing, so we can't really afford that on this project. So we're going to be using some Dulux Metal Shield Epoxy Enamel to uh, change the colour of them and bring them into today. So we've got brand new tapware going into the kitchen, but don't be a silly sausage. Bunnings have an in-store service and they can come to you and install it themselves. Dip, dip. It is not 50 shades of grey, but two shades of grey to create that contrast, which will look great with all of the upcycled furniture that's coming in later on. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. Where did you find this? Facebook Marketplace, $175. Bargain of the year. Give it a lick of paint, varnish, and it's gonna look. Finding pieces that have character that has that have been used. Yep. Yeah, it tells a story. Amazing, love it. You know, you and I are the upcycle queens. <laughs> Big moments. Primer's dry. So. Bye bye, ugly. Hello, fresh. 
And the great thing about the Gillex Renovator range is not only can you use it for the bench tops, but you can actually repaint your tiles with it as well. Awesome. Two in one. Excellent. A lot of old houses have these timber trims. Now, a really quick and easy way to update them is to give them a fresh lick of paint. But, top tip, make sure you use this stain blocker first. Because if you don't use it, what will happen is the timber bleeds through the paint. So you'll be forever painting over and over and it'll just keep seeping through. Lifesaver. G'day, Nick. Can you to give me a hand, mate? Of course. We're using this great system. It's a lock-in system. It's a cheap, easy solution to cover up these liner floors. Off like that. So how good is this? Blank canvas, but we're going to create something super cool with this well, dowel. Where do we start? So what we need to do, we've got the dowels all cut to size. Yep. We're just going to use some of this liquid nails, right, uh -huh. to actually fix it to the board. Clear coat on the top and then it's ready to hang. We've got the dowel. <laughs> the doors don't fit. <gasps> Jamie's having a meltdown. Well, you see, the thing is, is I've never actually put a door back on again. I've taken plenty off, but I've never hung them. Crisis over. You fixed it? Yeah, I just had to have a little diva tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually me that's having the diva tantrums. I'm just over here with my shear. <laughs> it looks great. Just putting up our signature picture ledges. That's what we do at the House of Cruise. And the most exciting part about this is we can crack on with styling. It is all systems go. Everything is happening right now. We've got the cleanup happening here. The blinds are going in. It looks fantastic, guys. Loving that look. And the doggy door is going in right now. Bella is going to love you. It's looking amazing. Stay tuned. The styling part is coming up next. Check out this massive bird. I can't believe we did this. Let's talk about the hero piece. I can't believe that you came up with an on-trend idea like using dowel under a kitchen bench and take a look at it. And these floors, I cannot believe how simple and easy they were to install. Check out this bench top. Doesn't even look anything like it was before. We've got this contemporary white look with the perfect gray cabinetry as well. Uh-huh, yeah. One of my favorites, this $175 bench seat that we repurposed looks brand new, adds character to the space. And to cap it all off, the colours in this space. Homely, greys, I know it's 50 shades of grey, but look at it. I am so proud that we've been able to pitch in and make this kitchen and dining room the heart of the home. I'm so proud that we're still engaged, babe. <laughs> This is the lazy broke girl's guide to DIY rattans. It's Geneva here doing an amazing makeover with Bunnings. Literally nailed it. Oh. A little bit coastal. Love it. I'm really just going the pretty freestyle on the liquid nails. Done. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we hope you liked the episode. And to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the action, be sure to click like and subscribe to the Bunnings YouTube channel.